Welcome to globallytraining.com. Globallytraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at globallytraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on VB scripting. Uh, we will learn all the VB concepts, I mean to say VB scripting concepts, looking at scripts, running them in a practical manner. So this is the first video and this is a basic introduction to VB script. So uh, to begin with, uh, VB scripts, you know, have an extension of .vbs. Uh, any script that ends in .vbs is interpreted as a VB script by the operating system. And that, by that I mean by Windows operating system because Unix does not recognize uh, .vbs. Next, uh, you can uh, develop your VB scripts in using any editor. Notepad will work just fine no issues there. However, you know, when you look at the code uh, using a notepad, you know, there is no a color uh, enhancements into the editor. It's everything is in pretty much black text and it will be very hard for you to differentiate between the keywords and the actual text, you know, things like that. You will see what I mean by that when we look at a sample script. And of course, a good editor is always recommended. And the one you can actually use is um, Notepad++, which is an open source editor. It's a free of cost. You can go to that website, notepad-plus-plus.org, download it. it. It works on Windows. So, and it's a very good editor. It's it's a free to begin with. So it works just fine. And I'm going to use Notepad++ for through this series. Next, as you know, this is a scripting language. So the every line, I mean to say every line in your script is read and executed. So literally the whatever that interprets the script reads the script line by line and executes it. Next, uh, you know, the script is interpreted by the Windows scripting host and uh, WSH. It has two WSH and uh, sorry, W script and uh, C script. Well, that's a basic introduction. I mean, to get an idea on uh, <clears throat> what VB script is and what the extension is, you know, Notepad or you know, the editor to begin with. So this will uh, kind of lay ground for you to you know start getting into VB scripting. So let's uh, go and look at uh, a first uh, basic script to get an idea on how a VB script looks. Okay, here it is. Uh, obviously, I'm using uh, you know Notepad++ as you can see, and you know it's this is much better than looking at the same script in a, a Notepad. Look at here; it's the same file. If you look at here, mo one script vb script dot vbs, same file. The Notepad displays it in a complete black and white. I mean, it's hard to, you know, differentiate between the keywords and, you know, other things within the script. But whereas, <clears throat> if you look at uh, the script within the notepad, you know, it has some green color for the top portion. You have some blue or black and a gray and all that. So, you know, that's the beauty of using a, a good editor, which would really, you know, um, it helps you and it, you know, it makes you more efficient. So let me uh, close this. I guess I have given enough motivation to use a good editor like a Notepad++. And there, you know, don't get me wrong, there are uh, other uh, commercial editors as well. You know, you can go and buy if you would like. So let's take a look at this uh, initial, uh, you know, script, you know, very first script. So to begin with, 
that is a comment. So if you you know comments are very essential for any scripting and programming language. And I'll talk about that pretty much throughout the course and you will definitely understand the need for commenting. So that's how you uh, single code. That's how you, you know, you put right in front of it and the whole line get commented out of the script. Next, uh, I have a bunch of uh, lines here. Uh, it's, uh, we'll talk about this, it's, you know, it's a dimension, it's a dim, say, it's a message, and now it's declaring two variables, and and what they are, we'll look at here right after this, you know, I mean to say right below that. So message equal to some text here, it has double codes if you look at it, but for the right, the one below, num equal to 10, we know visually that that's a number, and we know that that's a string. So for strings, if you put double quotes, you know, the VB interprets it as a string automatically. And when you, for um, numbers, you know, you don't use any double quotes. That's one thing. Next. Now, when I say message equal to something, what uh, it does is it stores this string in this variable. And then same thing, when you say num equal to 10, it stores a value 10 in this particular variable. Now let's see, you know, you know, we're going to use the next two lines to use the variable to display value. So let me go here. So message box, that's the keyword within VB scripting. You're saying message box, meaning you're, you want to display a message. It's saying you know display that message by the you know using the variable message so whatever is stored in this variable gets displayed and it says a zero and it says you know something here it says hello let's run it and then try to understand what each of these mean to us there are a couple of ways you can run it uh, I will run it using uh, you know a command line prompt so this is sorry okay this is where the scripts are and i'm going to run the first one that's the same script my script vb script dot vbs same one hit enter and i get a message here it says hello here the title it says welcome to globallytraining.com and as you can see uh, that is a message here from the variable so when you say message uh, sorry, uh, message box message. So it's reading the variable value and displaying it here. Look at this here. Hello, it's the title of the window. That's coming from here. The zero says that, you know, it, it tells the system to display OK a button. We'll get into the message box in detail down the line. But for now, let's, you know, assume that, you know, zero just displays OK button. So hello is coming from here. The message is coming from here, and the OK button is because of the zero. So that's the first message. So the second line or the second message should be probably, you know, I'm guessing num, which is 10. So there should be 10 here, and hello should remain the same. Hola. So we have a message there. I mean to say that's coming from there, the title of the window, and number 10 is coming from the variable num which is 10 so so it okay it's done so it's simple so the script you know it uh, you know you can add comments which are very essential by the time i you know you see you know a few more scripts you'll understand the importance of uh, you know introducing comments into your scripts and then you know you have you know i'm declaring a variable i mean you know there is no need to declare you know the way the script is written let's say let me go ahead and come on that line out save the script um i'm going to run the script again so still get the same message same message um so here i'm not declaring the variable explicitly you know, uh, I am just using the variable 
as I wish through the script and using it and there are advantages and disadvantages uh, about you know writing the script this way and this is not a professional way of writing a script we will look into you know the other options are you know the option to enforce for a script to declare variables we'll look into that in the you know next video so i hope you all followed it it's very simple um you you write a bunch of lines uh, to be quite frank and the vb um you know where you put an extension of VBS and the system interprets and reads each line and executes it. There's a serial syntax that you need to follow. You declare variables, you use the variables, and you know, and we, uh, we just saw how we can display messages on the screen. Well, okay, that's it about uh, you know the introduction into VB scripting in this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.